So hi, hello and welcome, my Crop Hunter here. And uh, today's story is about how I accidentally have grown a few algae at home. And uh, in order to tell you that story, we have to turn the time back a little bit, all the way to July 2022, when I visited northern Germany. It's uh, the Atlantic uh, coast of northern Germany yeah, and uh, the North Sea. And I spent a week there, a beautiful uh, place uh, with uh, very strong tides. And when there's the low tide, we could walk out uh, quite a larger distance here. And of course, you have to return in time. Otherwise, the high tide is going to catch you. Of course, I wanted to to collect a few specimens uh, to take home uh, to put under the microscope and one of the specimens that I took home was actually simply a, a water sample uh, without anything in it or so I thought uh, because I had the water samples um, stand on my windowsill for over seven months uh, basically I forgot about it um, it, the water did not evaporate because I had a, a screw capper on the plastic tube. And uh, do you want to see what I found after seven months? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Um, a little bit uh, not possible to see now. I have to zoom in a little bit. But there were some tiny algae growing on the inside of the plastic container. Um, I did not see them at first. Uh, but when you actually make it a little bit larger, uh, the image, and when you look very close, then you're able to see those tiny green hair-like little structures growing on the inside. And I immediately realized, wow, uh, there must these must be cyanobacteria or algae growing on the inside, but it could not distinguish them. So I said, okay, of course I have to put it, uh, put them under the microscope uh, to find out a little bit more about them. Interesting is the following: is that uh, there were more of these uh, growing on one side of the tube than on the other side. Why could this be? Well, obviously the side of, of the tube that was turned towards the window, towards the light, of course, uh, started to grow more of them because of photosynthesis. Well, I carefully scratched off uh, some of them from the inside tube uh, to put under the microscope. And this is uh, what I saw. Now I have to make myself a little bit smaller again. That's the whole, that's the whole structure here. Um, and um, yeah, you can see that uh, there are some unique cells, round cells on one side. And then there's this long extension um, going on all the way to the other side. And when I looked at this, I immediately realized these are cannot be cyanobacteria. These are certainly not cyanobacteria, but these must be true algae, eukaryotes, this means they must have a nucleus, they must have chloroplasts as well. And now why is that? Well, look carefully into the cells, you're able to see those green round structures. These are chloroplasts and a typical characteristic um, of plants and also of algae and cyanobacteria, of course, uh, they do not have that because the bacteria. Of course, I changed a little bit the contrasting uh, technique uh, around uh, to give it a few, a few more colors here. Um, but um, another reason why I realized that these must be indeed true algae is, is because not all of the cells are the same. So there is already some something that we call cell differentiation going on, um, specialization. So some of the the cells around like the ones that you see over here and then there are other cells uh, that are part of this long extension and they uh, have not only a different shape but also a different size and look uh, yeah and this basically already shows that there's different parts of the algae are responsible for different things and cyanobacteria generally do not have that uh, extent um, of different types of cells yeah I know some of you are now going to say that there's so so-called heterocysts in cyanobacteria these are responsible specialized cells which responsible for so-called nitrogen fixation. Yeah, but these are individual cells, but I think uh, uh, we can see quite well here that the cells here are indeed uh, quite different uh, from each other. Well, um, what have I done now with uh, uh, this uh, sample here? By the way, that's the tip uh, yeah, of the algae. What have I done with a sample? Well, um, I carefully uh, scratched off more of those algae and I put them together um, into a glass jar, hoping that uh, more of them are going to grow. And maybe in a couple of weeks, I hope at least I'm able to report back to you again and maybe I was able to reproduce them a little bit in a glass jar but uh, we're gonna be we're gonna see whether I'm gonna be successful or not well um yeah I just wanted to share this uh, nice little surprise with you I hope that you liked the video yeah I wish you all the best uh, well happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time bye bye